Guilty of capital murder. That was the verdict today in the Ali Ersan trial, arguably one of the longest murder trials in recent history with one of the shortest jury deliberations, just 35 minutes. The next phase, sentencing, and that begins tomorrow morning at 11. Our Keith Garvin is live tonight with reaction from court. Keith? Going to end this trial, Ali Ersan took the stand in his own defense against the advice of his attorneys, but in the end, it was not enough to prevent him from being convicted of capital murder. We've waited for over six years for justice for Gellaray and for Cody. That justice came in the form of a guilty verdict for 60-year-old Ali Ersan, convicted Thursday of capital murder for the 2012 killings of his son-in-law, Cody Beavers, and Gellaray Bagurzade, a friend of Ersan's daughter. It was an outcome that produced mixed but strong emotions for family and friends of the two victims. We're sad and excited. It's been hard for all of us. But um, it's a good day and we look forward to the rest of the process. Irsalan took the stand in his own defense for nearly five hours Wednesday. In closing arguments Thursday, prosecutors painted Irsan as a radical who needed to be stopped. Irsan's defense attorneys pointed the finger at his wife, who has a plea deal, and even his daughter, whose husband and dear friend were killed. But in the end, the jury didn't buy that theory because in just 35 minutes, they deliberated and found Irsan guilty. The jury deliberating for under 30 minutes just shows how strongly these two murders were connected. Irsan killed his victims because his daughter was influenced by one Christian, Bagurzadeh, and married another in Beavers. An effort to reclaim his honor has led to nothing but pain, death, and a guilty verdict for capital murder. Two wonderful lives cut too short. Senseless. So it's just a hard day, even though it's a happy day. And that penalty phase scheduled to begin tomorrow. Attorneys on both sides say it could last as long as four weeks or possibly even longer because relatives and friends of Ersan's are expected to be flown in as far away as Jordan to testify on his behalf. Ersan is facing the possibility of death. Reporting live from outside the federal courthouse in downtown Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.